everyone this is trinity from monogram we're here with a new blind bag review we're back with a new plush collection which i love it really switches things up and keeps things interesting this is for our mandalorian series one plush collection this assortment's a little different because there's only 10 characters in this one so let me give you a close-up look of all 10 of them let's get started Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think I see a little Grogu. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, here is Happy Grogu. See his big ears? The width is, you know, probably double the height with those ears. Come on. Love that sweet little smiling face and that little button nose. He even has these... I didn't know his claws were yellow, but looks good. I didn't know he had claws. <laughs> and here's the back view of little Grogu smiling. Ooh. Here we have a little Jawa. Ugh, the... The tag is so big. Let me just tuck it behind. All right, so here is a little Jawa with the bright red eyes, his little utility pouches, and a nice comfortable moo moo, looks like. Love how soft this is. It's amazing. Here's a little plush Jawa clip. Very novelty and fun. Here we have a Blurg chattel, like the eyes, you can see on both sides. It's more of a profile look, but from the front it looks good too. It kind of looks like a whale from the front, but that's the vibe. The little arms and the legs, very nice, and the long tail. Here is a plushy Blurg, so squishy. I think I see a little droid. Nice. Here is IG-11 with his blaster and a big head. I like this little button here on the side. You see that? That's cool. And then there's like a 2D representation of another one of those little knob things. <laughs> the blaster cracks me up. And he has this little holster belt thingies across his body. And here's the back of IG-11. So cool, so heroic. Aww. <laughs> I love how when it comes out of the bag, the ears are like all bent. <laughs> it's kind of cute. All right, so here is Grogu with Cup. So this is from that episode when they go to that village that um, Din and Kara, they go to protect and then Grogu's just hanging out with the villagers and eating soup. Um, so this is that iconic moment where he has the cup to his mouth. And here is the back view of Grogu with cup. Very iconic and adorable. Okay, so here is Grogu in a seated position because you can see his feet are up here in the front. Kind of a foreshortened pose. Kind of interesting. And here's the back view of Grogu sitting. It's him when he's just kind of looking off wistfully. You know, he's not really smiling as much. He's just kind of thinking about his Jedi past, you know, before anyone knew back in season one. So much has changed. <laughs> okay. What do we have here? Oh, here is Quill in plush form. R.I.P. King. Wow, a lot going on here. So there's like these little uh, <laughs> mustache extensions and then there's white 
over it like a little little pieces of white felt over these little cheek growths he has interesting and then he's kind of giving us princess leia with the uh headphone thingies are sticking out a little too much looks like hair but this looks pretty good he has spoken then here's the back looking very princess leia like but it's quill okay so here is another version of the child grogu this is Grogu using the force, you can see he's kind of focusing in on his metachlorian juices. <laughs> and he has his right arm extended, very much using the force, you know, be it for good or evil. Because we've seen in season two that Grogu's kind of a gray character, not purely light or dark. But here's Grogu using the Force! Again, love the ears. Alright. Here's Din Djarin, the Mandalorian. Looking good. A lot of great details in the outfit. Love the way that the helmet is rendered. It's not embroidered, it's just kind of like printed on with this polyester material, which is interesting. And... Oh, and I didn't realize that Din has a cape. Why does he have a cape? But he does, and it looks pretty good in it. So you can see under the cape if you want. You can see more details there. Flip the cape down. Here's Din Djarin, the Mandalorian himself. Looking good. Ah, alright, and then last but not least, we have the Mandalorian again, Din Djarin, but in an alternate uh, color scheme. So the torso is more, there's light gray on the torso, and the cape is black. It's very interesting. Very interesting alternative version. I'm not sure where in the show his cape is black, but it's cool. And can't get enough of Din Djarin. We love him. We stan. Oh, I also just noticed that there's these little um, extra, uh, it feels like felt with something making it a little more s supported to add those extra details on the side of the helmet, which is cool. Cheekbones are snatched. Love it. So here is the second Mandalorian of the collection. I believe one of these is the chase. I'm actually not sure, but there's two versions of Mandalorian in the series. One of them is exclusive, one of them is in the regular assortment. Pretty cool. Twinning! So here they are, all 10 of the Mandalorian Series 1 plush bag clips. You can find these at Hot Topic, Box Lunch, Target, so look out for them there. Had to get a little creative with the display because they're a little bulkier. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.